Suicide Squad has a lot of problems. It's better to call this The Repetition Squad, Exposition Squad. It could have been a good movie squad. I'll talk about that more in my actual review when I get the DVD or Blu-ray. But the main point I want to talk about right now is that there is no squad. So why was the squad formed? Gentlemen, ladies, what if Superman had decided to fly down, rip off the roof of the White House, grab the president right out of the Oval Office? Who would have stopped him? Let's look at the team. A guy that can shoot at things. A guy that can throw boomerangs. A lady with a baseball bat. A human flamethrower a mutant crocodile man, and a chick with a sword. Hypothetical question time! If these guys fought against Superman, do they really have a chance? Technically, Katana is not part of the squad, but for the sake of argument, let's put her in there. Out of these guys, only three have a shot. El Diablo and Katana can actually possibly hurt Superman. In the comics, magic is effective against him. And these guys, I think, are powered by magic. Well, one of them is made of magic. And Croc, I could see possibly tanking some hits. So we've got the team. The rest could probably do support. Except Harley Quinn. Her power is... Mm, she's just crazy. See, Deadshot has a chance because you could give him a kryptonite bullet. Even Captain Boomerang, give him a kryptonite boomerang. At least it's ranged. But what would Harley do? She uses a gun, but in the movie, she's focused on the baseball bat. And if you want to injure Superman, just give me Deadshot. He never misses. Even if you give her a kryptonite baseball bat, she can't get in close with Superman without getting killed. Katana can't get close either when I think about it, but... Notice I said kill. Stay down! If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. I'll take you in without breaking you. Which is more than you deserve. The version we have of Superman so far would not give a fuck. Superman had reasons for holding back. They were stupid reasons, but he had reasons. Why would he hold back against the Suicide Squad? The villain of the movie is a powerful godlike being. The only reason the Suicide Squad won was because of bad writing. This roster cannot handle a Superman level threat. So in terms of stats, you got no squad. Maybe raw power won't cut it. That's why it's a squad, right? They did do a team shot at some point, but there's no team building. They fought together. They survived battles. They even joke around. But I did not get the sense that the team was forming genuine camaraderie. You son of a bitch. See, you could have a ragtag bunch of misfits that are facing an insurmountable odd. But as the movie goes along, you'll believe that they have a chance and they'll win because of the power of their friendship, their trust in one another. They have to earn it. And the movie doesn't earn it. They tried to show that at the end. Here's to honor among thieves. But there's no build-up to it. Near the end of the movie, they suddenly give El Diablo more characterization. What the fuck? And then because of that scene, they're his family now, so he's willing to sacrifice himself. That's just stupid. That's just bad writing. And Harley calls them her friends. The guys that she was ready to leave without a moment's notice for Mr. J. Oh, hell no. They tried to do something with Captain Boomerang. Boomer's a really, I mean, you know, he's a kind of, uh... He, he's a, I mean, he's on his own, like, track. He couldn't really care less who these guys are. Um, he doesn't need them, and he, he doesn't care if they need him. You know, he's, he's there to get in, uh, take what he needs, and get out as quick as possible. After Flag came in and told them they could leave, he just runs the fuck away. That's consistent with who he is as a character. But, oh, he, he comes back at the end, oh. Is it because he's a boomerang? It, 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 is that the joke? Oh. Hell. By the time the film was over, the only persons that I believe could actually be friends or at least have an understanding was Flag and Deadshot. You might want to work on your team motivation thing. You heard of Phil Jackson? Yeah. He's like the gold standard. Okay? Triangle, bitch. You just threatened me? Oh, yeah. He just threatened me. That is just a mean lady. Yeah. See, Deadshot and Flag's relationship developed over time. It wasn't just banter, 
at some point, they understood each other. For the others, they were just there making jokes. And cracking a joke doesn't mean you are friends. Hey, the fire blow, okay? Well, look here. Fire! To the credit of Suicide Squad, it seems that it's making money. But my commenters have stated that I should investigate further. I'll take a deeper dive when I get the DVD. But th this is just my main impression. So Suicide Squad has no squad. In terms of raw power, they can't stand up to Superman. And the reason they won against a Superman level threat was just fucking bullshit. And the film failed to make me believe that they had a friendship that will make them win. What are you left with? Oh no. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys.